Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're gonna be working with this car that is racing on a on a racetrack. So what I've done so far is uh, an underpainting with some oil paints and solvents just to get the initial tones. And now what I'm doing is with a really thin brush I am tracing, retracing actually the image. The original drawing was done with pencil then the diluted paint came on top and now I am recovering a bit of that initial line drawing so as to have as reference for the rest of the later layers of paint the application right of more layers so remember to be as precise as possible in this part this uh, line drawing is going to be the foundation for all that's going to come afterwards so take your time, be patient. This might be, might not be the most fun part of the process, but if uh, the line drawing is accurate and if we stick to it, then the result tends to be better. For the color, I am using a Lizarine Crimson mixed with a bit of ultramarine blue. The red, reddish parts are more a Lizarine Crimson, and when you see a darker tone, that is in uh, conjunction with ultramarine blue almost creating a black so i'm uh, roughly also implying some darker areas the um, we need to we need to do the darkest darks from from the start you know so i am placing those deep shadows that are going to be the darker parts on the image and as I go along I'm going to be adding more detail and some of the lighter tones. I am starting to work a bit on the racetrack. It is important to pay attention to the edges. By edges I mean what's the quality of the transition between the grey, greyish blue from the racetrack to the car. Since the car is the main figure, we're going to tend to have those edges sharp. What I mean by a sharp edge is uh, an aggressive transition from one color to another, from one tone to another. There are going to be some soft edges probably due to the motion blur that we, can, we are going to try to create a sort of photographic effect that recreates the movement of the car that's going to be towards the back. Now I am applying some texture on the ground so as to create uh, a leading focal point that's going to take us into the main character of this painting which is the car. I am placing some texture on the grass on the side the more texture is going to be on the inside of the curve, therefore we're going to have the, the most paint and the most brighter tones on the inside of the grass. Now I'm placing some yellow ochres, some cadmium yellows to create this, this transition, this texture. Now I am applying some layers of paint to the background. This is directly on top of what we had as an underpainting. So the mix that I am applying is tallow green mixed with uh, zinc white. And now I am going for the strands of grass on the side. For this I am using a mix of tallow green with cadmium yellow and also some titanium white because we want these strands to be as bright as possible. After I finish with the grass, I am applying some layers of titanium white on the side of the track. This is the area that is uh, meant to signal the drivers that the, that's the end of the curve. And therefore I am placing some texture. This area needs to be uh, rough, a rough uh, surface. Now we follow up with the car. We are working a bit on the hood placing the first masses of paint. I am using zinc white mixed with a bit of titanium white 
and some ultramarine blue so as to create that it's a shade of gray notice i am not using any solvents and that's just pure paint i'm going to be working on top of that with successive layers of paint so it's not going to be as rough when when the product is finished usually i tend to work only with pure paint when i want to have ultimate control of where my tones are going to go because as soon as you add a solvent to the mix it, it starts to flow a lot and it's harder to control by solvent i mean either turpentine mineral spirits or other mediums such as linseed oil notice that i am layering the white so as to create a bit of a highlight in some areas that those areas are going to carry more quantity of paint therefore are going to become focal points the parts that are not as shiny are going to be semi-transparent and that i can achieve thanks to the zinc white which is a semi-transparent white titanium white is opaque so any place that we are applying more titanium white is going to seem more opaque and therefore it's going to become a highlight now I am reinforcing some of the darkest darks. Usually when you start adding layers of paint, sometimes you need to go back to your initial strokes and reinforce those because it's really easy to go over the edge. And uh, usually edges like this one needs to need to be refined with several Passes. I am focusing a bit on the tires now. For this, I am adding a bit more alizarin crimson to the mix. The tires are gonna contain both really cold and really warm darks. By warm, we can use alizarin crimson, and to use a cold tone, we can use ultramarine blue or Prussian blue, some other really deep blue that is going to give us what we need. I am continuing the details on the bumper. It is important to be really careful at this stage because the final details demand a lot of precision. For this I am using a finer brush and the paint is a bit more fluid. I'm using a tiny bit of linseed oil so as to make the paint flow better. I'm going for the line of the hood. Really important to keep your hand steady if you need to, to use some sort of stick so as to keep your pulse firm. I don't remember exactly what's the, the name of those sticks that you use for steadying the pulse uh, the, the old masters used to used to use them in my case i use uh, an old cane sometime something i i stole from the great painter richard smith he also uses a, a cane it's, it's cool because the the handle of the cane grabs perfectly on the on the upper part of the the canvas so it's very useful I am deepening a bit the darks on the front part, trying to keep it dark, but not, a, not as dark as the tires or the bottom of the, of the car. I am hinting a bit of the interior now, trying to imply at least that there's a driver in there, refining a bit the windshield wipers. These are going to contain almost pure white. As a highlight it's gonna be really sharp now i am refining a bit of the surface on the bumper on front this is a reflective surface so i'm trying to imply that with some lighter tones reflective surfaces are usually sharp in nature when when dealing with the reflection getting a bit of the details on the front lights I'm using some yellow ochre, 
and a bit of cadmium yellow mixed with raw amber and a bit of zinc white to create the transparency of the of the of the glass and now for the final details i am creating the the insignia the logo of the fiat abarth for this i am using a really tiny brush taking my time so as to be precise this is going to be the highlight of the of the painting so it needs to be we need to take some time here okay this this is going to be the final strokes of this one hope you like it and please if you have any comments any questions feel free to leave a comment below take care guys